Hey everybody, Mike from Focused Garage here. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on the GTI once again. Now, what are we gonna be doing to the GTI? Let me show you. Our friends over here at Clean Motor Works have hooked us up once again. We've got a badge inlay here for the rear as well as the front emblem on the car. Now, we're not gonna be installing these just on the factory chrome badges themselves. No, 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 no. Since the car is pure white, I've gone ahead and I've purchased some glossy black badges. I've got actually one of them down below here that I'll show you that we're gonna be installing these uh, underlays, overlays directly under them. So without much further ado, let me show you why these are the vinyl that you need to buy and no one else's and we'll hop right into installation and see how these work on the car. So the Clean Motorworks badge insert, inlay, underlay, whatever you wanna call it, I just wanna take a minute and touch on why these are the best in the market. So what they use is a very, very, very high quality vinyl here. The nice thing about this is that it's weatherproof, so it's not gonna fade in the sunlight, the edges aren't gonna lift on you or anything like that. And they offer varieties meant for people with all types of different badges. So if you wanna install this on the factory emblem, it's not a problem, they actually make inlays that'll go in between your Volkswagen logo here. But some of these aftermarket badges aren't exactly the same size as stock, which is not a problem. You just go ahead and you buy this, the whole circle piece, and it just goes overlays right onto that. And then when you go ahead and you put the badge together, obviously it's not a problem. You'll have the white on the one side and then the black on the other side. So that's exactly why I like working with Clean Motor Works. Their uh, products are very, very uh, idiot proof, I guess you could say, and they use very, very high quality of materials. All of the products always come with full instructions. So if you're ever not sure how to install something, Go ahead and check it out. I mean, they've got it all outlined for you right here. I'll let you pause that just while we got it, you know, in focus and zoom free there. If you have any questions about that, feel free to check that out. Uh, but again, it, it's very, very self-explanatory. What this video is going to do is we're going to show you how to actually pull these badges off from your vehicle. And then, you know, before you put on this new aftermarket piece, we're going to go ahead and install the uh, insert here just so that way we can get kind of that unique look. You know, the factory chrome and black is fine and whatever, but I feel like on a white vehicle that having the black badge with the white inlay really, really pops and sets it apart. So if you guys do need any kind of vinyl for your Volkswagen, they offer stuff not just for uh, GTIs here, but Passats, Tiguans, um, different badges for many, many different Volkswagens, check out cleanmotorworks.com. I believe we've got the, uh, there we go cleemw.com right there. So check them out online. Great company. They stand behind their products. If you do have any questions, they're definitely there to help you out. Um, you know, and if you do ever buy any of their products, go ahead and, you know, give them a shout out on social media, give them a tag. Uh, they're very fun to work with. Uh, you know, they interact back with you. So, uh, you know, they're very happy that you use their products there. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop into this here. Um, it'll probably be a mixture of me pulling the emblems off the car and then installing the, um, inserts on these pieces. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Now, since the rear badge well, and the front badge are already off the car, uh, they're a lot easier to install the inlays onto them here. So this badge actually shipped to me as two separate pieces, as you'll see here, it's separated. So obviously once you're under the badge here, you can be a little bit crude with the way this stuff gets applied. Um, you just have to basically cut holes for where you see the alignment tabs. So you're gonna have uh, two little ears there and two little ears there and then pretty much a notch in the middle, I believe is all there is. So you can see the way this corresponds to, you know, what's going on in the back of here. It looks like I almost might tab there, so uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if that holds a problem, but you've got tab there, tab there, you know, a couple other tabs there. So you basically just wanna make sure that the tabs you've got on here correspond to the tabs that are available on here. So when you press it all together, you can see it all lines up on the back of this piece here. Those are gonna hold them together there, that's going to hold together there. And then you've obviously got the bigger tabs here that will click this piece onto the car. And you can obviously press it into place and make sure everything is good. Uh, the nice thing is, like I said, is once it's under here, you don't really see any of it. So boom. So you can be kind of crude with your cuts. As long as the piece lines up together, boom, you're good to go. And this will go onto the car. So we're gonna go ahead now and try and install this on our vehicle. Now, removing the front emblem from the car is not very difficult. What I recommend is getting some sort of plastic removal tool here. And all you have to do is just go around the outside of the badge in a circular motion. There's gonna be a bunch of little clips there that secure this to the vehicle. Once you get it separated, you're gonna see this is actually two pieces. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll pry this off around the outside here. And then once I've got it loose, 
I'll go ahead and pull it off the rest of the way and show you guys how we've got two separate pieces underneath this here. So give me just a second. So we've actually got it removed from the car already. It came off pretty easily once I got a few of the clips out. So working your way around the outside, there's gonna be a bunch of clips and then the emblem will separate, wham, into two pieces. So here are the clips we're talking about right around the outside here. You can see bam, 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 bam. And then just corresponds to popping right inside this emblem here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this inside and swap the pieces over. All right, so we've got the front emblem here ready to be installed back on the vehicle. And just as I was mentioning before, it's very, very easy, just like the rear emblem of the vehicle. So you're gonna get this pre-cut piece of a circular vinyl. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is install it on the backing piece. So that circular vinyl looks just like this. You've got pretty much just a big pre-cut circle here in whatever the color match choice of your vehicle is. And once you've got the factory emblem separated into two pieces, as you'll see here, you kind of just play with it here and the tabs will line up and the pieces lock together. Sorry, I'm doing that out off camera there. So you'll see it separates. And the cool thing is, this you can see, this is very, very crude. You just want to obviously make cuts that correspond to the holes here so that the alignment tabs and the emblem match up when you're putting this piece back together. So you'll kind of just, you know, play with a little bit, bam, falls right into piece there, and then you've got your fully white vinyl there. So that's with the chrome piece. What I've got here is I've got, like I said, the glossy black emblem that we're gonna be installing this with here. When you go ahead and pop these two pieces together, bam, that's what we've got. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is flip this on the car. So to install this, it's gonna be very easy. All you've gotta do is just line the tabs up into place on the back of the emblem here. You've pretty much got one large tab near the bottom and then a couple of their smaller ones near the top. But what really secures this in place is the tabs around the outside there. So here it is, no emblem there. What you're gonna do is just go ahead and like I said, line up that bottom tab, put it into place and kind of make sure everything is good. And then you simply just start pushing as you hear tabs clicking into place. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and work around this for a second and once I get it all popped into place, I'll let you know. So that definitely takes some persuasion. At first you're gonna feel like you're doing it wrong, but that's actually just how it goes on. Once you get it lined up to place, literally take your fist and just smack it around all of the outside to get it into place and bam, that's it. So now we've got the front emblem installed. What we're gonna go ahead and do next is take off the back emblem and show you guys how that fits onto the vehicle. All right, now, so for installing the rear emblem, it is not nearly as easy as the front. You do require a little bit more finesse and you do feel like you're gonna break absolutely everything in the process. But somehow, I managed to get the factory emblem off here without breaking any part of it. You can see the whole black trim piece on the inside is all still together, as well as the emblem itself is all still one piece. So let me kind of show you what worked for me to remove this from the vehicle. You're gonna need a pick like this to start the process and then a tool with an angle like this it's made out of plastic to hold it open while you're going around the outside i'll show you the little notch that you put this in in a second to get it started but once you've got the uh, emblem cracked up you're going to want to hold this up in there to hold the emblem in place and then you're going to want to work this around the entire outside circle of where it mounts to the car once the emblem starts lifting a little bit you'll actually be able to squeeze this tool in between the chrome and the black and that's what you're gonna to wanna to do to separate it the rest of the way. So get it in between the chrome and the black once it's lifting from the vehicle and use the car as leverage. So let's see what it looks like as far as to get it off. So here's what the vehicle looks like without the emblem installed. The notch that I was talking about, you're gonna obviously push the emblem upwards and then right in the bottom down here, oh, come on, focus for me. Right in the center of the emblem, you're gonna see a little indent. You're gonna to wanna to put that metal pick tool in there and begin to pry the emblem up with that. Once you've got that in there, you'll put the plastic tool in its place instead to hold this emblem up, and you'll just work your way around the outside. Here's a good view of what the clips look like to hold the emblem to the car. There's just a couple of these little guys around the middle that hold the backing, and then you've got just the various clips around the outside as well. Whenever you do buy an emblem for this, I recommend getting the one with the backing piece, because if you do not, and you break this when you pull it off, well, when you break the emblem pulling it off, you're gonna be out of luck. So try and get an emblem like mine that's two pieces here, so you've got the front of it 
and then you've got the backing piece there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. To put it in place, all you have to do is just click it into place and go ahead and pound it down with your fist. So I'm gonna do that now, and we'll check back in once it's installed. All right, so here's what it looks like installed, and it installs just like the front piece. All you've gotta do is line up the tabs. Like I said, there's a few in the middle that correspond to different points on the emblem, but fit and finish is great, and that white matches the car perfectly there. The hatch, or the latch, have you, uh, still operates just like it did before. Just go ahead and pop it up, and it releases the mechanism. You can see here, it's all clipped in, nowhere for it to go. And then around the top too, it's as tight as it's gonna be. So, there we go. That's what it looks like on the car, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Very pleased with how this turned out. So now that we've got the emblems installed on the car, I just want to take a quick second with some little tips and tricks and an overall wrap up on it here. So anytime you are installing vinyl, and I did not cover that earlier in this video, but I have in prior videos, especially with a circular type of vinyl like this, when you're installing it to the emblem, you actually want to you know, obviously make sure that it's completely lined up. Uh, but when you're squeegeeing out the air that's uh, you know, between the vinyl and the plastic piece, you want to work your way from the middle going outwards in a circular motion. So um, if you go you know, and you try and push it side to side or from the outside in, that's how you're going to get wrinkles, that's how you're going to get creases, that's how you're going to get bubbles. So what you're going to want to do is obviously lay this you know, on top of that plastic backing that the Mark 7 has and then using some sort of squeegee tool and if you don't have a squeegee in a pinch you can use a um, credit card or any kind of you know, small hard surface like this um, but you do want to squeegee from the middle outwards. So as you can see here, you know, you're going to want to do it that way. And that's going to help, you know, prevent any kind of uh, bubbling, creases, anything like that. So just a pro tip there, this is pretty, oh, this is a lot easier to install than the pre-cut ones that go in between the badges, just because of the fact that you don't have to be as careful if you have to trim anything or laying it down. This is pretty much just putting a circle on top of another circle and then just trimming the holes where any of the attachment points are. So as so, soon as you get this down and your emblems are clean, it's no problem. Um, they do advise using either you know sunlight for heat or using a heat gun or a hair dryer if you have that, making sure that the vinyl is warm as well as what you're putting it on is warm. That will help with adhesion, making sure that it does stick properly, doesn't lift in the future or anything like that. So as long as you know you can lay it down a circle on top of another circle, you're pretty much gonna be good to go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you one last shot of the front of the car and the rear of the car and we'll go ahead and we will wrap this up. So here's the front of the car. Obviously, I'll step back, give you a little bit of a farther view here. Excuse the bug guts. Uh, I did not have a chance to wash the car before this video, but you can see here, matches very, very well. Everything clicks into place. There's no wobble, nothing like that. Nothing was broken there. I'm very, very proud of myself <laughs> that I was able to take off that plastic emblem, put on the new one without breaking anything. Let's check out the back. And then here we've got the black emblem in the back with the white. And I think this looks really, really sharp because it does go with the kind of uh, European uh, Golf R LED taillights here that kind of have a smoked finish to them. And then you've got this dark emblem here to really finish it all off. So that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. I hope I was able to kind of help you guys to show you how to remove the emblems and replace them with aftermarket ones, as well as showing you how to install the Cle Motorworks vinyl inlays slash underlays slash inserts. Call them what you will. They're a fantastic product and it looks so much better than just having a black blob on your car or the factory um, you know, emblems. I definitely can't leave anything stock, so I, I feel like this is just my little uh, tweak on customization with the car, make it stand out from the rest of them there. And just, it really allows you to take your car to quote unquote, the next level. <laughs> but uh, another thing, just a personal pet peeve of mine that I hate is when people put the all black emblems on the front and rear of the car, it looks like somebody stole your badges. So this is a way to run the black emblem, but still retain the look you know, of the Volkswagen signal there. So if you do have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments down below. The link to purchase these will also be in the comments down below and feel free to check out Clean Motorworks. They make fantastic products and they make more than just uh, emblem inlays there. They also make stuff for the steering wheel, uh, your wheels on the car, as well as a few other odds and ends there. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as hit that thumbs up button if this video was useful to you. There will be plenty of more content like this in the future. This is Mike from the Focus Garage. Have a great day.